The historic agreement reached by the Federal Bureau of Reclamation, the Natural Resources Defense Council, and the Friant Water Users Authority, representing the communities along the east side of the San Joaquin Valley, reaching from Merced County to Kern County to restore water flow to a 153-mile stretch of the San Joaquin River will lead to one of the largest river restoration projects in the nation's history. The agreement, which ends an 18-year legal battle between river restoration advocates and agricultural and urban water users, was reached because a federal judge had warned that if the parties involved couldn't figure out a way to restore the river, he would. We have nothing against fish or fishermen or environmentalists or anything else, but you can't have a farm if you don't know how much water you're going to have on a given year. And so the judge said it best. He said, you know what? He said, all I have is a meat cleaver. The solution requires a scalpel. And he said, if you folks were smart, you'd get together and work out a solution that's, that's good for all of you. The agreement releases water from Millerton Lake, with the goal of re-establishing the river's historic salmon population, as required by the judge's ruling on state law. Experts had estimated that local users could have lost as much as 50% of their water if the judge had imposed a decision. Instead, the amount of water available to local users, including 15,000 farms and local cities, will be reduced on average by only 15%. The agreement creates certainty for the next 20 years, certainty in the water supply for our communities. It includes a fixed cap for water releases to the river, certainty that it will not increase costs to users, certainty that San Joaquin Valley farms and cities will have a reliable water supply for the next 20 years. This solution enables us to protect ourselves for the future. We're going to have some certainty now. We're going to know what the releases are. The agreement promotes a healthy environment, provides for continued economic opportunities, and protects the farming industry, so important to the San Joaquin Valley. The cost of restoring the river could reach $800 million dollars, funded from current fees paid by Friant Water users and other federal and state funds. The funds provide for physical improvements to the river itself, as well as water management goals that will enable the recovery or replacement of much of the water that will be used to restore the river. So if I'm a Friant farmer out there, I've got to look at this as to what are the alternatives, and this is much superior to a court-ordered judgment. This gives us an opportunity to survive. The agreement also addresses the concerns of other parties who could be impacted by the project, such as downstream water agencies and landowners. The challenges of channel modifications and the creation of fish-friendly habitat are issues that must be completed before salmon can successfully return to the San Joaquin River. The agreement has provided for the reintroduction of salmon in the river no later than January of 2012. So I think the good thing about this uh, particular settlement is that we're going to use our energy, our talent, and our resources instead of fighting each other. Now we're going to be working together to try to help both our causes. So I'm looking forward to, to trying to implement uh, both the restoration goal and the water management goal. The San Joaquin River Settlement. This historic agreement marks a new beginning for the San Joaquin River. The transition from litigation to cooperation provides certainty to the valley for the next generation.